Hey there people, how you doing? So, today we have the camera comparison between the OnePlus 9 Pro and the OnePlus 8 Pro. Now initially, I thought that this video would be more about just finding out how good the OnePlus 9 Pro's cameras were compared to the 8 Pro. Like, I thought that it would be better or maybe slightly similar in majority of the instances. But things did not exactly turn out that way. And yeah, you know what? I'll start off with the comparison and you'll know exactly what I mean because the craziness, well, it starts off with the first image right away. And I mean, do I even need to say anything much here? Because yeah, the OnePlus 8 Pro seems to be doing a better job because clearly those shadows are much better exposed on the OnePlus 8 Pro compared to the 9 Pro. And the 8 Pro is clearly doing a better job. Now, the only place where I think the 9 Pro is actually better is in white balance. I think, like, if you look at the sky, the blue is a little bit better preserved, in my opinion, and it looks a little bit more natural. But other than that, the OnePlus 8 Pro does take a win here. But it would seem that the ultra wide camera is actually definitely better on the OnePlus 9 Pro because, as you can see right here, the colors are better, the contrast, I really like the OnePlus 9 Pro and as a matter of fact, in certain areas of the sky, you'll see that the 8 Pro is overexposing and blowing out the highlights a little, that's not the case with the OnePlus 9 Pro. Now here's another set of ultra wide images but this time with the higher resolution modes on both. And yeah, the 2 megapixel difference between the two, it doesn't exactly mean much, it's a processing rather, because just take a look at those colors on the 9 Pro, I mean the 8 Pro, it doesn't even come close. So now let's zoom in, this is 3 times zoom on both, both are pretty similar except for the colors and contrast that is, like details and everything, it's very good on both. Now as for the colors, well the 9 Pro does look a lot more natural and the 8 Pro it really likes to exaggerate and make those colors pop. Personally I'm, I'm gonna go with the OnePlus 9 Pro here, like it's an obvious choice for me, but the OnePlus 8 Pro isn't doing a bad job, not in the slightest, it's just a color difference that is. Now both of these cameras can go all the way up to 30 times zoom, but my recommendation would be to never go there because yeah, clearly it's terrible on both. The OnePlus 9 or 8 Pro aren't exactly gonna give you good images at that level. Now this right here is a 48 megapixel image on both from the main cameras. And once again, the OnePlus 8 Pro is doing a better job. This is the second main camera shot that the OnePlus 8 Pro is taking a win over its successor. Damn, like look at the shadows, so much more detail and the highlights are not blown out either. It's, it's just a perfect image on the 8 Pro. Even the colors are so very natural. Initially, you might think that both are very nice shots. Yeah, the OnePlus 8 Pro's sun is slightly better exposed. But if you look at the trees and the leaves in particular, well, it's a lot more crisp and it just looks so nice and the clarity is really present on the OnePlus 8 Pro. The 8 Pro is definitely doing a better job here. But anyways, now let's move on indoors and this is a fairly good lighting situation. And as you'd expect, both these phones in good lighting will perform admirably well. I would say the OnePlus 8 Pro looks slightly flat while the OnePlus 9 Pro with the higher contrast, it looks more natural in terms of how the lighting condition was but to be honest both are great photos here i'm just gonna call this one a tie because yeah there's no point in picking one because both are just amazing now this right here is essentially the hardest condition in the entire camera comparison right here backlit by a studio light yeah it's it's pretty harsh and as you'd expect it's not perfect like yeah they are blowing out the highlights and there is some noise in the background but the shadows are very well exposed subject valentine is looking amazing but this was just one photograph out of like 20 or 30 that i'd taken before and it gets pretty crazy let me show you we did end up getting these results and i really like these because well, you see, there's no noise in the background and I don't know, even though it feels kind of underexposed, I really like the shot on the OnePlus 9 Pro here. But there was also one shot that came out completely underexposed. It, it somewhat shows off how inconsistent the OnePlus 9 Pro's camera and even the OnePlus 8 Pro's camera can be in these kinds of harsh conditions where the lighting is not exactly favorable to the cameras. And now, please brace yourself because we're gonna take a look at entirely screwed up and broken photographs from both these devices and that's what completely blows my mind. Like, how is it that we have 
this kind of weird artifacted photographs like these are wrong photographs from both these cameras the processing completely screwed it up and it's present on both i did not expect something like this uh, and i just had to point it out because this is the first time i've ever seen something like this happen on the oneplus 8 pro i've taken like over a thousand images with the oneplus 8 pro you could say i know a lot about those cameras and clearly this has never happened before but nonetheless we did get a good shot out of them so Anyways, let's move on to the ultra wide cameras on both in the similar conditions. And well, uh, I like the OnePlus 8 Pro for exposing the shadows a little bit better. Like you can see the wall has a little bit more color, but other than that, the OnePlus 9 Pro with the higher contrast looks really nice in my opinion. Like the subject has enough light and the contrast is very well balanced. It looks nice. It looks very natural, that is. The lighting has been maintained in terms of how it was, just how my eyes saw it. That's really nice on the OnePlus 9 Pro. Now, macro photography, well, this is an interesting situation with the OnePlus 9 Pro. Not in its favor, as you can clearly see. The OnePlus 9 Pro apparently can't even get as close to the subject as the OnePlus 8 Pro. So suffice to say, the OnePlus 9 Pro is kind of lagging behind in macro photography instead of improving on the 8 pro has just taken a back step not exactly what i'd like to see anyways let's move on to portraits and human subjects well this is with the rare cameras at 1x zoom and yeah both are pretty good i mean the colors on the oneplus 9 pro are definitely much better it's a lot more natural in terms of the skin tones but I think I gotta point this out, like both the OnePlus 9 and 8 Pro, they are blowing out the highlights on my face like badly, like it does not look good. I'm using a studio light to light one half of my face, that is to test the dynamic range in portrait mode. And yeah, they're not exactly passing with flying colors now are they? Upon zooming in however, I do like the OnePlus 9 Pro here. It is a bit too flat for my liking. But the OnePlus 8 Pro isn't anything particularly better either. Yes, it has a little bit more contrast, but I think it's just underexposed and it's like crushing the shadows completely. Yeah, all in all, I'm gonna go with the OnePlus 9 Pro, but you know, I've seen better photographs when zoomed in. So I think the OnePlus 9 Pro definitely needs some work with portraits and human subjects as a whole. Now this one right here, it is in medium indoors lighting and wow, the OnePlus 8 Pro screwed up royally like that is terrible the amount of noise and grain on my face it's crazy and it's underexposed it's it's not even a competition at this point the oneplus 9 pro takes a win for this image yeah selfies however well it's it's once again an interesting situation with the oneplus 9 pro here as you can see the 8 pro is kind of blowing out a little bit more highlights but it is definitely exposing the shadows and also my face a little bit better. Obviously, this was a slightly harsh condition. I'm gonna lean towards the OnePlus 8 Pro here a little, like I'm, I'm still torn between the two, but even so, I like the OnePlus 8 Pro a little bit more. Now, portrait selfies in the similar condition, well, this is, this is new, I guess. The OnePlus 8 Pro was never this good with harsh lighting conditions with portrait selfies like damn look at how much detail and the shadows are present you can see so much like my face is perfectly exposed highlights are completely under control as opposed to the previous normal selfie apparently in portrait mode there is better dynamic range on the oneplus 8 pro and i took this photo numerous times so this was a consistent result right here yeah big win a big big win for the oneplus 8 pro here now another portrait selfie this time in medium lighting conditions and well i would say that the oneplus 8 pro has much better details overall especially like on my face and everything while the oneplus 9 pro has better skin tones like it's not perfect but it's definitely better than the oneplus 8 pro edge detection well i would say neither is particularly perfect so yeah portrait mode it seems there are there's a lot of work to be done on the oneplus 9 pro in particular like both rear cameras and the front cameras i really think oneplus needs to work a little bit more on that night mode however is i can tell you very safely just incredible on the oneplus 9 pro the 8 pro is not bad it's still pretty good but the oneplus 9 pro is 
definitely better like it has so much more detail the shadows are slightly better exposed and it just looks so very crisp and nice the one area where i think the 8 pro is actually doing a better job is with the color of the wall it's very natural on the 8 pro while the 9 pro is kind of over exaggerating a little like it's it's really vibrant right there this photograph however i i, I really don't know what went wrong with the oneplus 8 pro i took this photo like 10 times same result the white balance was off every single time like it's it's obviously not ideal you you don't want a photograph like this the oneplus 9 pro on the other hand doing a far far better job than the oneplus 8 pro here now for ultra low light condition yeah this is where you're gonna see some serious improvements because the oneplus 8 pro once again not bad not in the slightest but the oneplus 9 pro does pull ahead it does have way more detail like the overall sharpness of the photograph especially like if you look at the leaves and everything it's so much better visible it's slightly smudged up on the oneplus 8 pro i mean you'd expect that it was really low light right there but nonetheless the oneplus 9 pro does take a nice little win right here that is until we move on to the ultra wide camera in the exact same condition and yeah this is no little win this is a big win for the oneplus 9 pro's cameras the difference is i mean i don't really have to point much out here the oneplus 9 pro has much better dynamic range it has better exposed shadows and it has better details so yeah the oneplus 8 pro not really doing that great a job here now is it so that is it for this camera comparison and what did i tell you things get crazy and it would appear that the oneplus 9 pro isn't actually like 100% better compared to the OnePlus 8 Pro. So overall in daylight, I think the ultra wide camera easily takes a win, much better on the OnePlus 9 Pro compared to the 8 Pro, but the main camera, it could definitely use some work. I'm really hoping that any of the issues that we are seeing here will get resolved in the near future, hopefully, but nonetheless, portraits. I think the OnePlus 9 Pro, it should do better at this point, like it's it's touting itself as a flagship and there are many other flagships out there that can do much better portrait mode and I think OnePlus finally needs to up their game with regards to portrait mode. But the portrait selfies is essentially the place where OnePlus 8 Pro takes a win, like yeah, I personally didn't expect that the selfie cameras would be worse on the OnePlus 9 Pro. But anyways, then we have Macro. Another win for the OnePlus 8 Pro, who would have thought, like, I genuinely hope that the OnePlus 9 Pro with its better ultra-wide camera and everything, it would do better macro photography. But nonetheless, night mode, once again, is obviously gonna be better on the OnePlus 9 Pro. So, with all that said, well, I, I personally think that the OnePlus 8 Pro is still goddamn incredible because considering that it's last year's flagship, OnePlus' own flagship, that too, it's it's stacking up really well compared to the oneplus 9 pro given how updates have improved the oneplus 8 pro's cameras well it does have a lot of potential with regards to software updates and so i'm gonna i'm gonna be cautiously optimistic for the oneplus 9 pro's cameras but we'll see exactly how things roll out so with that said i hope you guys enjoyed if you did do hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and i will be seeing you guys later cheers